welcome. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you guys how to make your own custom items and objects for the future tutorial, uh, which was the um, mining expert in the tutorial islands. Now, before we get started, make sure you hit that notification button after you've hit that subscribe button. Make sure you put a thumbs up and comment down below and let us know what you thought about this video and how helpful it was. Now, to get started, the thing that we need to do is we need to open up tools and we need to install rsviewer.exe. We need to install, uh, sorry, not install, but we need to have all these other applications, which I did have a link in the description from previous video and it will be in this video's description as well. Now, what we're gonna do to get started with is we're gonna open up RS Data Suite. We're gonna also, as you can see, I've already installed the model viewer. It's right here. So if I open that, I'm gonna minimize that for two seconds. Um, we need something cachey later. We also need Valk. So let's open up Valk. We want to load cache in this and cache in the other one, which was um, Valk, okay? So once we load cache in both of them, we can get started. So I'm just gonna get into the cache. Opening up cache, beautiful. And this one here, we want to do the same thing. So we want to find the cache, load it up. Once the cache is loaded, then we can start working on this very sort of long but easy process. It can be complicating at first, but you'll see where I'm getting at. Okay, so now that we've got those, the next thing that we need to do is we need to open up object list, right? So once we open up the object list TX, uh, text file, then we need to find the object that we're going to edit. So in this tutorial, I know which number it is. It's 2098, or sorry, 2090, right? Which will be copper ore rocks, right? And that's what we're gonna use. So we need that number and I'll show you why. I'm pretty sure we loaded the uh, thing in here. So we wanna go objects, right? So we loaded the cache, open up this. Now that we've got that, we're gonna type in 2090, okay? Now all this information here, take a mental note, either screenshot it by pressing Alt and print screen then open up paint and then paste it in there or just type down all this information in a notepad because you're gonna need it. Except the model IDs we do not need, okay? But the rest of the stuff is very important. Okay, now for the clip type, it says two. If you typed in two in safety, it will go down to one. So make sure you type in three, then save. Make sure these uh, toggle buttons are not on because when you go for one, they will be on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that and then we're also gonna find a item ID that we'll be able to use for the object. So what we want to do is we've got the information here. We want to scroll down, right? Until we find 65240. It can be any null number, but for some reason, all these nulls down the bottom here do not spawn in our object. I don't know why. It could be something to do with the cache, but you know, that happens with most caches. There's a lot of errors. This is why I'm saying making customs, there's plenty of nulls to take over. Um, but you know what I mean? Like we need to upgrade our cache itself and get a better revision and stuff like that or implement our own revision to it and so forth. But that's so complex and so hard to do. It's not very beginner friendly. Um, even myself, it's a bit of a struggle to do sometimes because there's so many opcodes and so much things going on to do. But anyway, now that we've done that, the first thing that we need to do is just find a number. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna type in here, I'm gonna type in 65240, right? And as you can tell, this is what it comes up with. Uh, 654, no, sorry, 652420, right? I've typed in the details, which is unknown all rocks, size X and size Y is one. Clip type should be three for a sec. Animation is 2234. Model ID is, this is the model ID I got. Yours will be probably different. A ambience 25, contrast is 50, model types is 10. But after model and model types, you need to put in the semicolon, otherwise it won't work. Sizes down here are 128, 128, 128. First click option is mine, okay? So I'm gonna minimize that for two seconds. We're gonna open up models here. I'm gonna scroll down and find the model that we need. So there's plenty of them, right? You know, all this sort of stuff, there's different things, right? Now, as I was saying earlier, what sort of model ID do we need? So if we go into here and we typed in 2090, copper all rocks, 65252. So what we wanna do is save all models, put them into a folder such as like this. So like a model folder anywhere in your computer. And then as you can see, it's got all these. Next thing that we want to do is once we've done that in this model viewer, 
and save them all. We want to quit out of that. We want to quit out of data suite again. All right. Now the next thing that we need to do is open up our tools. So I'm just going to go to uh, the Valk one, all right? And then we'll go to tools again. The thing that we need to open up is that maker, and we also need to open up Meta. Okay. So I'm going to open up both those just because I'm going to. Oops! Don't click on the settings, but click on the that maker. All right. We're going to have this minimized because we can't actually edit that files in here. Okay. The next thing that we're going to do is. Uh, we're going to because obviously it's a higher revision sorry so the higher of revisions we can't edit in dat maker that only works from 308 to 515 or 518 i think it was um the next thing that we said we need was meta so we're going to open up this we're going to minimize this as well right but we need to open up roomscape model viewer okay now when we found the dat file that we need so say for example i'm going to open up i'm going to go to models and i'm going to type in six five uh, 252 I think it was dot that right when open that and as you can see it's this sort of all rock so if we use the left mouse wheel we can pivot around but we can't edit it so what we're going to do is go export when export as an MQO okay so I'm going to do that quickly get out of it it will go to the folder that we actually got it from so I just want to type at the top here MQO right as you can see there it is there drag it to my desktop get out of it now, now that we've got Meta open, we want to open up that file that we just made. So desktop, MQO, opens up MQO and MQO2 files. Now here we are, middle mouse wheel will sort of do this sort of angle on it. The left, uh, sorry, the right mouse button will do this sort of uh, changing sort of camera angle and stuff on the object. And I think that's like panning, I believe, which was the middle mouse wheel. Left one doesn't do anything, but we've got options here like rectangle, so that's like a rectangle select. We've got rope, so we can draw what we want to select. You got move, which if you click a pivot point or a face, you can move it up, down, left, right, and change it and stuff like that. You can scale things. So, oh, this face I don't like, so I can scale it in, or I can scale like points and stuff to be different and so forth. You got rotation, so you can change the rotation of certain things. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to change the color on this ore. So to do so, it's over here on the right hand side. We need to double click on these, and we can just change them the way we want. So, like that, we can go darker and lighter so you know all this sort of stuff so you can choose all the ones that you want to start off with before we actually go on to doing anything else so say we've got all that set up the way we wanted it right and just go okay now let's say that's something that we wanted you can take a lot more effort we want to go here we want to go save now that we've saved it we want to get out of that and we've got this mqo file what we need to do is open up that dat maker and open that file that we just got which was this one here and we want to go up here and go sorry not that we want to go here make dot that okay there's no animation on it so just make it dot that and that will put it to our desktop as a dat file and it come out like this see bb dot that which is the file that we're going to use so hopefully that was helpful very quick tutorial in the next one we're going to be showing you how to put this file back in your cache file and then use it in your program and so forth like that. Okay, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If that was very helpful, make sure you put a thumbs up, make sure you comment down below and also hit that subscribe button notification key. That would be greatly appreciated.